Hey guys, this is Steve from Trim That Weed. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to fix the HE error on the LG dishwasher. But first, what does the HE error mean? If your LG dishwasher is displaying an HE error, it simply means that there is a temporary heater error. This could be because your dishwasher is unable to heat the water to the required temperature, or the water has been overheated beyond 149 degrees Fahrenheit. The following are some of the common causes of the HE error on LG dishwashers. Faulty heating element. Over time, this component can degrade and lead to improper heating during the cleaning cycles. A worn out or malfunctioning heating element can therefore trigger the HE error. Wiring or connection issues. Loose or damaged wires and connections within the heating circuit can disrupt the heating process and prompt the error message. Water supply temperature. If your dishwasher is receiving water that's too cold, it may struggle to reach the required temperature during the cleaning cycles. Control board issue. The control board is responsible for sending power to the heating element. And in rare instances, it might be the culprit. Also, the control board might be misreading temperature signals. Now let's look at the best solutions you can apply to fix the HE error. Check the water supply and restart the dishwasher. Start with the basics. Check the temperature and pressure of the water supply to your dishwasher. Then reboot your dishwasher by following these simple steps. Push the power button to turn the dishwasher off. Turn the switch off. Wait for 10 to 30 seconds and turn it back on. Press the power button to power it back on and start a new cycle. Inspect the heating element. If restarting the equipment does not solve the error, then the problem could be caused by other factors. Follow these easy steps to check the heating element. Power off the dishwasher and disconnect it from the power source. Remove the lower dish rack. Locate the heating element and inspect it for signs of damage, such as corrosion or visible breakage. If it's intact, use a multimeter to test the resistance of the heating element. The heating element needs to be replaced if the resistance is zero, as this will indicate that it's damaged. If the heating element is not faulty, you can check the wiring harness. To do this, follow these steps. To access the whole electrical circuit, remove the door panel. If you find any damage, repair or replace the wiring harness. Control board issue. If the heating element and wiring circuits have no issue, then the problem could be with the control board. This is a rare occurrence. However, when it happens, it's advisable to contact a qualified technician. Thanks for watching.